There was name-calling, finger-pointing, loyalties questioned, and at the end of it all, the private member's motions put before by the House of Assembly by Member of Parliament for South Caicos North, the Honorable McAllister Hanschel, calling for the rejection of the recommendations made by the Commission of Inquiry Sir Robin Ald in the interim report to suspend the TCI's constitution, enlarge the franchise to include non-belongers, and to introduce judge-only trials in the country was passed. And Mr. Speaker, in this modern day and time, the report suggests that democracy are selective. The interim report and the actions of the British government and the governor by extension suggest that democracy are selective. And in the case of the Turks and Caicos Islands, that the people of these islands, we don't deserve to be free and choose the direction the way that we may want to go. Emotions were high and words were thrown across the floor as members on both sides of the House argued their cases for their support or lack of support for the motion. I believe we agree on those things. But yet I can't figure out why we can't stand up as men and women for once and tell our trucks and take his people that we disagree with these three fundamental things. Mr. Speaker, if such words were to come out of the mouth of the opposition and others, I am absolutely sure it would make a big difference in the minds of our people in our various communities to understand and to take a second or a third look more closely as what is at stake. While members of the ruling party standing in support of the motion berated the governor and the UK government for their proposed plans, members of the opposition say they were not fully satisfied with the entire motion and turned their tongues at the ruling party. The opposition did not agree with the motion's proposal to reject the proposed introduction of judge-only trials in the TCI. Mr. Speaker, there are former speakers that indicated that the suspension can't be the ideal. Mr. Speaker, and to some extent I agree with that. However, Mr. Speaker, the continuance of a corrupt cabinet in the seat of this parliament, having the ability to influence the legislative agenda, Mr. Speaker, also, Mr. Speaker, can't be ideal. The fact of the matter is, Mr. Speaker, the easiest option for us as a country that would have been that I believe would have sat us as for all of those that have been implicated in acts of corruption to do the honorable thing as we see around the world to simply resign to allow for me and put country ahead of self. Meanwhile, the scheduled release of the final report of the Commission of Inquiry has been delayed by a court battle over the release of its contents. However, in a written statement from the governor yesterday afternoon, he noted that the case will not stop him from, quote, the task of implementing with the full support of the U.K. government recommendations in the Commission's final report to restore good governance to the islands. For WIV4 News, I'm Joy Del Trail.